I have found the magic elixir. It is it is it is Dayquil and and Claritin D and five hour energy. It lets you do anything. That sounds like a magic elixir of death. <laughs> You're going to die. And I don't have the technology to keep this going without you. We all die someday. So I really hope you have like a yeah. zombification Dr. Frankenstein reanimation plan or something or a Nash bot somewhere. Wouldn't that be weird? That'd be awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Are, are we ready to do this nonsense? Let's do this. Get the, uh, I'm gonna, I just realized I'm going to have to redo all these in, uh, in high def. Oh. Or not high def widescreen because you know now we're in, we're in widescreen. So I've got to because now because look when I hit the button when I hit the well button, I can't I don't have the stream on right now because that totally totally fucks when me. When I up. hit the button and there's black bars, I'm gonna have to fix that. Not black bars. Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all crazy. sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here. Little segment we like to call "What the fuck is wrong with you?" Yeah, I need to add someone. I need to add your name to that anyway, because that's not cool. What You're, do you mean? It's it doesn't have your name on it. The intro thing. Well, yeah, but I don't do the research. Well, Catherine does all the real work. All right. I just well, I got I got to make credits for this shit or something. All right, let's get started. And I believe is this. Where is this? I send you the the link. Uh yeah. Sometimes this is Florida. It's Florida. Of course it's, it's Florida. Florida. Man, sleep aid made me drink, drive, and hit cars. See, this is going to be you tomorrow. <laughs> You're like, I had too much NyQuil. No, no, I'm having the DayQuil. I'm, I'm doing the stay awake shit. Oh, well, a that's all right. A Shorewood man wants a Will County judge to clear him of a drunken driving charge because he said he became, quote, involuntarily intoxicated after taking a prescription dose of the sleep aid Ambien. Thomas A. Gatz, 43, was found wearing only his underwear after he drove his car eastbound in the westbound lane. Nobody drink. He wasn't naked. And caused a crash that shattered an 18-year-old woman's arm. Jesus, dude! Um... A doctor's expert testimony uh, that Ambien can cause sleepwalking, eating, and driving. That doctor, Hadari Shikari, name rhymes, that's neat, also testified Gats could have involuntarily consumed alcohol and gotten behind the wheel of his car after taking his Ambien that night. I've, I've actually heard, like, people do fucked up shit on Ambien and they don't remember it. Ambien will fuck your shit right up. Like, there was this whole thing on LiveJournal a while back where this girl, like, went kind of crazy in one of the communities I was in and was posting, like, crazy comments and going nuts and whatever. And the next day, people were yelling at her about it. And she literally had no idea what they were talking about because she was totally ripped on Ambien. Like, but that to people. That, that okay, that, that's one thing. Like, but you just black the fuck out. It's like prescription roofies or something. On the other hand... What this sets the stage for is, um, not my fault, Ambien! Yeah, but in some cases, as far as I'm aware, it's true, like, it's well, yeah. fucking prescription roofies. No, seriously, what, what I want to do is, I want to just... When not used properly. I want to go outside, I want to get the neighbor's chihuahua, I want to punt it over a building. And then when the cops come, I go, sorry, Ambien! Not my fault, Ambien! Why would you do that to a dog? It's a chihuahua. That's not a dog. It's a dog. No punting dogs. We yell about people doing that on this show. Okay. Don't be that guy. It's not my fault. I've taken a bunch of Ambien. I didn't say that. No. I'm not responsible. No. Get out of free job. I love that. It's a get out of a jail free drug. I, I got drunk and drove down Punch the road. Instead, and... somebody's on notice. Got, I got drunk and drove down the road and hit a car and beat up a cow and set fire to, you know, a minivan. But, yeah, it's not my fault. I was on Ambien. So, you know, 
Fuck well, that. I mean, I imagine they would test, they would do a toxicology screen to see if you were actually on Ambient at the time. You would think, but come on. It's not that hard. You pee in a cup. That would be, you know, you, you re- okay. With as much of the stuff we've seen on the show, do you always trust the confidence of law enforcement? Not always, but... Okay. Well, this guy actually did do what he was accused of, um, which was, uh, he was arrested for calling 911 five times... I heard about this! ...to complain about his broken iPhone. He's a moron! An Illinois man was arrested early yesterday after he called 911 on several occasions to complain that his iPhone was not working. Michael Allen Skopek, 48, otherwise known as old enough to fucking know better. Klopek? Is that Slavic? Skopek. No. He uh, dialed police emergency operators five times to beef about malfunctioning Apple product. Um, cops traced the call to his home where he was arrested at 1 a.m. yesterday where he, quote, refused to comply with orders from deputies. Uh, it's unclear what, what Co- Kopak thought cops could do about his mal- malfunctioning smartphone, though deputies did report he was intoxicated when they arrived at his residence. Released on his own recognizance, Kopak is due in court on November 18th. I mean, AT&T service is 611, so maybe he could argue that he hit the wrong key if he did it once. But five, five times, times, you're just a jackass. Five times? Also, was he calling them on the iPhone? Hmm. In which case, fuck him twice. Because obviously you could call somebody with it. And the people you were calling had better shit to do with their time. Oh, but did he say he couldn't make calls? Or that it, I it mean, wasn't there working? Are ways, there are a lot of ways for an iPhone to not be working other than not making calls. As... As an owner of an iPhone, I can tell you that there are a lot of fucking ways for it to be bro- broken, but it'll still make calls. The last time I checked, 911 is... I call 911 for that shit, because it's not an emergency! I know! If you consider your broken, fancy-ass smartphone to be an emergency which warrants the cops and the fire department and an ambulance to come to your house... Lindsay, Lindsay tweeted something this week that um, she couldn't think of any witty things to use for the hashtag first world problems. Seriously! First world problems. If you call 911 because your iPhone be broken, yeah. first world goddamn problems. No, I do not have the new model iPhone. I have the Flintstones iPhone. <laughs> the Flintstones iPhone. I have to feed a little pterodactyl or my service plan goes out. Uh, and, uh, oh, God, oh, uh, okay, this, this, at first, this seems a little straightforward. This is the Hyde Park Tire Slasher, since 10 years, homeless man accused of slashing tires on hundreds of cars in Hyde Park was found guilty by a jury Wednesday. Uh, Travis jury convicted Tommy Joe Kelly on one count of unlawful use of a criminal instrument and sentenced him to... Ten years in jail. Um, neighbor saw Kelly near the slash car before and after the crimes. Um, Kelly never admitted to slashing the tires. Um, when asked about it on the stand, Kelly said, quote, Okay, I'm going to tell you the truth on this one. It doesn't sound right, but it is. I have had hemorrhoids at the time. Super duper bad. Kelly told jurors he was hoping to go to jail because that's the only place he can get medical treatment. For his hemorrhoids? For his hemorrhoids. He slashed hundreds, not one, not two, not ten, hundreds of tires in the hopes of going to jail. Did he slash them with his hemorrhoids? That would be some pretty bad hemorrhoids. That, oh, it feels like my ass is being sliced up. I'll slice up cars with it. No, okay. 
I mean, you can go to the ER. Yes. For just about anything. Yeah, they'll charge you. I was about to say out the ass. I'm not going to say oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. But, uh, I mean, you're going to get charged a ridiculous amount of right. money. But if, if it's that bad and you right. don't have insurance, you can go to the there, ER. There are ch get there, treatment. Yeah. And there are some ERs that if you are indigent, if you can't afford it, they will waive your fees. They're charity hospitals. I've got yeah, one right here in my town. Free clinics and stuff. Like, there are places yes. you can go that to aren't get some nice jail. Fun. That aren't jail. Yeah, because if you're going to jail for your hemorrhoids, well, they're going to be poking around your butt a lot. Um, just probably not in a helpful way. I actually think that might make him unattractive to the in jail rapists, and that you might know, that might think... work out in his favor. Yeah, yeah, probably that. I mean, when there's a prison full of ass. I just I don't think he thought this plan through. To its lot, there are there are less pleasant. Actually, there are more pleasant options than going to jail for ten years. Yeah. Well, why do you get ten years for slashing tires? That seems excessive. Well, that's hundreds of tires. That's a lot of fucking tires. Yeah, but still, it's like ten years for vandalism. Also, I don't know if you've ever had. Fucking Paris Hilton didn't do that much much time for hucking it down the highway the wrong way, ripped on booze. I don't know if you've ever had hemorrhoids or not. Kevin Smith talked at great length about his hemorrhoid. Super duper bad. He talked about this. He had a wonderful on stage. It's on video. Check it out. And from what I gather, the idea of doing anything, much less finding the wherewithal to slash hundreds of tires while with a super duper bad hemorrhoid, as he puts it, um, that's some determination there. I kind of got to admire that. Maybe it was better than sitting down. <laughs> oh, oh, we, we've got so much, so much more tonight. Um, more bath salts craziness, and this is... Oh, God! We haven't had some bath salts in a while. This is actually kind of the most benign bath salt event ever. Someone took a bath? No. Almost, but no. That would be the most benign bath salt event ever. From, Someone used to take a bath. From Vandalia, Ohio, man walks into house, puts up Christmas decorations. A Vandalia family is in shock when a man broke into, his, into their house, made himself at home, and even put up Christmas decorations. Police said the man's strange behavior may involve bath salts. According to police, an 11-year-old child came home and found a stranger sitting on the couch. Uh, Tamara Henderson was next door when her son called her. Uh, she said, what do you mean a man is in our house? You don't know if he has a gun or a knife? No, he brings cheer and tidings of great joy. He was... Santa math. <laughs> and his heart grew three sizes that day. Um, there's a candle lit on the coffee table. The television was on very loud, and the candle on the kitchen table was lit. He also did some Christmas decorating. Uh, Henderson said the man tried his best to be polite to her son. He had said to him, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I'll get my things and go. Wouldn't it be nice if they all went like this? It would. You know, it would also be nice if the kid's name was Cindy Lou Who. <laughs> well, I mean, just that that's that's this is probably the sweetest thing that has ever happened when someone's been fucked out of their mind on bath salts. Yeah. I. Wow. I, I, I bring you tidings of great joy. You're not Santa? No, but he's so real. I swear, I've seen him. He told me to do this. He lives under my couch. <laughs> I just, I love that he apologized. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'll, I'll, no, no, I'll go. He said, uh, what are you doing? You're doing something. 
had to know I had something for that. <laughs> you always have a, it's just like you have a collection of these fucking things. To just at any given moment just like this one, this one, this one, this one. It's like Swiss army hippos up in this shit. Yeah. I have a hippo for just about every occasion. That's terrifying. Do you have a sorry I ran over your son hippo or something? No, then you don't have every occasion. Well, they're not fucking Hallmark cards. It's not like when you care enough to send the very best, send oh, yeah. a hippo off your desk. It's, Speaking I, I of just... which, they're not Hallmark cards, huh? Speaking of this... <laughs> I like your birthday card! I like them chunky. I like them big. I like them plumpy. My name is Moda Moda. Yeah. You gave me this for my birthday. God damn you. I did. And it was awesome. So they do. They do come in cards. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, they do. Okay, let's see. We got more to. Oh, we got more to do. Um, From Fresno, California, a uh, Fresno Pacific University basketball player went on. A this is from the story, I'm not making this up, went on a naked rampage near campus after being told he had been kicked off the team. Leonard Tyrell Young, 21, ran naked through a convenience store parking lot, tried to steal a police car, beat a police officer and police dog, and withstood three taser strikes before finally being subdued. He was booked Tuesday into Franklin oh. County Jail. <laughs> Um, let's see, uh, police, uh the, the, Young's friends who had said they were a member of the uh, basketball team told the officer Young had been kicked off the team an hour earlier. They said he, quote, tore up his apartment, then ran naked into the street. Ah, oh. he reportedly pounded his fist on the bulletproof glass at the convenience store and on several cars. An officer was getting, uh, was getting his dog, uh, Jack, out of the police car. Young ran up to him. Uh, Young and, and the officer grappled. The dog bit Young on his thigh. Young hit the dog and then tried to drive off. So, he wasn't being arrested when he beat up a cop. No! He approached the cop to beat him up. Yes! And the dog, and his little dog, too. That's special kind of stupid. Holy fuck! And he, was he on anything, or was he just that pissed that he got kicked off the team they said he was arrested for being under influence of controlled substance they just don't okay. say which one but holy fuck wow jesus christ over basketball a nice they kicked him off the team a nice guy like that <laughs> good lord i wonder why yeah i know he's such a good role model for the kids I, uh, wow wow like, that's, that's an impressive... <laughs> three oh, taser hits! Holy shit! It took him three hits with a taser before they brought his ass down. Naked! Jesus Christ, what's he doing on the basketball team? Put this fucker on the football team! Right? <laughs> Give him the ball and just... Just let him go! Nothing is stopping this bastard! Run, Forrest, run! Mother shit! He'll be in the next county after he scores the touchdown. Yeah, and then you'll have to get a new ball. <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably eat the fucking ball. Jesus Christ. Someone said hockey. Do you really think he would get him to keep skates on? I don't think he's capable of anything much more, more complicated than run and hit people. Well, even Jeez. if he had the skates on, he probably wouldn't have clothes on. And, and naked plus ice skates... Yeah, no, that that no good can come yeah. of that. Oh, okay. Um, or you get sweaty and stick to the ice. We we've got to uh, uh, get ready to be sad, everyone. Everyone, get ready to be sad. How 
often do I have to say that on this show? That makes me sad. Okay, so you ever... Sad been... is different than your usual grumpy status. Yeah, yeah, you ever been to Disney World? Yeah. I've been to Disney World. You ever had to go to the bathroom at Disney World? Um, not that I remember specifically, but I imagine I have. It's not one of the memorable parts of the trip, generally. Yeah, well... It would have been if you'd run into this guy. Oh, dear God. And this is, of course, Florida, because it's Disney World. Cops... Man peeped on women in Disney room bathroom stall. And first off, you've got to see this man. Let, let's put this on the big screen because holy shit, look at that guy. Imagine you're in the bathroom at Disney World. You look up and this is looking down at you. Oh, uh, let's let's get to the details. Um... 42-year-old Winter Park man was arrested early today after a, a tourist at Disney World's Epcot told authorities he was peeping over the bathroom stall in a woman's restroom at the theme park. The woman, who was visiting from Pennsylvania, their family went to the bathroom near Spaceship Earth and went with one of her two daughters over a little after midnight when she saw someone peeking over the top of the stall. She told investigators the person ducked down in an attempt to hide. Now, I like this better. Something didn't feel right, she told deputies. So she decided to leave. When she turned, she saw Lloyd Miller looking at her. It wasn't an accident. Um, outside the woman's bathroom, her husband heard her yell for her daughter to run from the bathroom. He chased Miller, who was then caught by distance security, as he ran for the park exit. I don't like him. What was the fucking plan here? The plan was obviously to watch women pee. Yeah, okay, that part... I think that's as far as he got, though. Well, yes. He didn't get as far as climbing into a porta potty for no, instance. No, no, he didn't. But at Disney World? I know, man. Really? Like, just go to a strip club like everybody else. Did, did he... At Disney just watch World. porn on the internet! There is so much pee-related porn on the internet, I'm yeah. sure. I, I can't give you a website, like the, the pizza website, but I'm sure it's there. Yeah, it's got to It's the internet, That's everything. That's not even a really uncommon kink, so just go to... Just, I imagine that this girl is never going to want to pee in public again. No. Never in a public restroom again, because every time, she'll have that face. Yeah. Look at that! It's like... That is horrifying right there. How you doing? creeping me out, and I'm not even... How you doing? In a bathroom. Go in the bathroom, it's huh? It's actually looking at me, and it's creeping me right the fuck out. At Disney World. I, I love it. He didn't have exactly have an exit strategy here. It's really expensive to get into Disney World. I know! Like, why wouldn't you go somewhere cheaper? Like, say, Starbucks, perhaps. Or the fucking Denny's. Or the Denny's, right. No, he spent several hundred dollars to get into Disney World just for this. Yeah. Is that his idea of the rides? Because that's not how they work. That's that's not, that's not, it, that really is not how it works. I don't like you for saying that. I know, I know, I'm sorry. You should be. Well, let's, let's get to a worse one. You thought that guy had a great picture. Oh my god. Oh my god. This next one's fantastic. Well, not that's not picture. This this is his. This is just she is made of crazy eyes. She Michelle Bachman? No, I, close. She's got all Look at she's got all the crazy eyes. Look at her. This is Marissa Emanuel. Yeah. I know. Look, you same response I did. Yeah. She kind of looks like the expressions you're making tonight. I learned from the best. How many time pictures have I had to see? You get a little crazy eye, too. I've seen a lot of the pictures you have. Oh, you, you froze. Let's get you back. Hold on. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get the video back. Hold on. Come on back. Are you back? Okay. You back? I am back, I think. Almost. And this time, it's personal. While you're coming back. Okay, here we go. Um... Woman beats school bus driver 
drops pants at officers. Winter Haven, Florida. God damn. Someone called her Paula Duga. Let's go Mets. He's not a Met anymore, but it's funny to me. A Winter Haven woman was arrested Thursday morning after she boarded a bus full of students, caused a scene, and hit the driver. According to police, 37-year-old Marissa Emanuel flagged down the bus for an unknown reason. The driver stopped, recognizing her as a parent of a student. <sighs> driver told police she got on the bus, and when the driver told her she wasn't allowed on the bus while there were students on board, she started yelling at the driver in a foreign language while hitting her shoulder her on while hitting the driver on the shoulder and arm. The officers arrived at the scene. They were able to track Emanuel to home where she was being uncooperative ranting and yelling and at one point pulled her underpants down okay what the what the fucking fuck she has a kid on the bus she had a child on that bus so she gets on the bus like, it's bad enough, like, if you've got one of those helicopter moms that's on the bus, like, honey, you forgot your lunch, and you're like, oh my god, mom, you're so embarrassing. How bad does it have to be when your mom's beating up the bus driver and exposing herself to the cops? Like, yeah, this, this, your social life at school is over forever. Well, you're going to have a lot of, a lot of time to spend with the school counselors. Yeah, like 24-7. You get to school in the morning, your entire schedule is talk to the counselor. Yeah. Why are you in here today? My mom beat up a school bus driver and showed her ass to the police. Yeah, yeah. you ain't going anywhere today. Let's get comfy. You want some coffee? Gee, I just look at her. She's, I can't tell what... There is no other reason... That, that's just crazy eyes. That is, if you look him up in the dictionary, there's a picture of this woman next to crazy eyes. Because Jesus. What the? What could, I don't think Jesus has much to do with it. What could she have possibly hoped to accomplish here? What was the goal? For the love yeah, of what, God. Why is she on the bus? Does it say? It doesn't say. For all we know, she's like, my kid's on that bus. Hi, kid. You can't be on the bus. Fuck you. And then she goes home and the cops show up and she's like, fuck you. Here's my ass. I, I, you know, normally it's a man crazy thing. This, this would normally be. Yeah, I was be just going to say, you're always about how woman crazy has a goal. I'm not feeling a goal here. I'm not either. I'm not feeling a lot of premeditated. No stuff i'm here. not i i stand i stand abashed in the face of this story yeah because there is no nothing you could hope to accomplish through this chain of events that makes any kind of sense unless, at all unless unless, unless. maybe she had a thing for one of the guys on the police force and this was all to lure him in. See, see, my guess would be a reality show, but I like yours. I like yours, because yours actually has an end goal. Of course, at that point, say, all right, if you, you have a goal, you can't be a hooker forever. <laughs> you have a goal. At that point, really, wouldn't it be cheaper in terms of legal fees and just all-around issues and just better for everyone if if you just FTD the motherfucker. Yeah. You know, this... Just send him a dirty text. It's, this this is not... saying how you get a man. Ain't how you get a man. Uh, so, so what have we... learned? Tonight? Um... Well, first of all, Ambien will get you out of anything. If you get in any kind no, of trouble I at didn't all, say that. no, I'm saying that because hey, I said Ambien has been known to really fuck people up if not used properly. You can do anything in the world and just say sorry, Ambien. No, no, I'm you not can't. responsible, Ambien. No. Um, I did not say that. We, we have learned that. Um, if you have a hemorrhoid problem, jail is probably not the best place to seek treatment. 
they sell preparation H at the store. No they prescription do. needed. They do. And, uh, yeah, they... Trust me, your ass is going to be a whole lot sadder coming out than it was going in. I don't care hemorrhoids or no. It's jail. Um, We learned that I have a hippo for every occasion. You do. And I said occasion because I have a Cajun hippo. Oh, God, D.A. Scott Jr. Uh, the worst pun ever. Roid rage. Oh, no. Hemorrhoid rage. Your joke does not get my appreciation. But, uh... Yeah. Um If uh if uh, if you're capable of attacking a cop, a police dog, taking three taser hits and doing so naked, you don't belong on the base basketball team. You belong on the fucking football team. Or track? Yeah, that's true. That's true. A track. They they they, they yeah. Yes. In Obviously, he's good for distance running and stuff. Um, we learned... Okay, it was a really bad Cajun accent, everybody. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. We, we learned that if you're going to get high on bath salts, there are pleasant things you can do. There, there are happy endings. They're still Tis weird and confusing, but somewhat heartwarming in a weird way. Tis the season and all that. Yeah, t- you know, you, 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 yeah, it's like someone at Willard, J- Willard J- Will Jar, uh, 313. I learned that Ned Flanders does bath salts. Really? It, it sounds like Ned Flanders on, on drugs. Um, we learned that, uh, if, if, if you really, really must do the bathroom stall porn, go to the internet, not, not Disneyland. It's the happiest place on earth, but that's not the not reason. Not for you. Yeah, that, that that that's not. That's not not for you. That's not why. It's, that's not why. No. No, no. And uh, I, I guess the way to the way to snatch a man is not by flashing him your snatch after beating up a bus driver. Right. Right. That's that's not attractive, ladies. Um, flowers. Well, I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. I. She she may have a lovely nooks and crannies area you you gotta eat but you know you can't be too easy you gotta make them work for it <laughs> gotta play a little hard to get ladies yeah you gotta make for it yeah um you know get, getting arrested while taking down your pants it's be a little more subtle a little yeah more subtle. just they're called feminine wiles not not Feminine, wild to... and crazy eyes. Let's get her eyes on here again because Jesus people are really God. upset at you for leaving those up as long as you did. I wouldn't do it again. Just God damn those eyes. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> this has been crazy eyes night. Yeah. It's been scary haunt your dreams mugshots night. Sweet dreams, everybody.